Good day everyone and welcome back to SCP Illustrated, entry log 123. Hope you're all doing well. Today we're taking a look at another old unlisted video, namely SCP-2881, also known as the tree you cannot climb. This is a safe class SCP and this video does contain a single scene of graphic injury. And without further ado, let's begin. The following data release has been authorised by the following council members and administration staff. Autopsy report. Subject, D4375. Attending, Dr. T. Davis. Statement of death. D4375 was hung, resulting in a fatal C2 fracture. Autopsy report. The body has sustained significant damage from the fall, however I can confirm with certainty that D4375 was dead before he fell from SCP-2881, most likely five to seven days prior to the fall. Rigor mortis has passed and D4375 has begun bloating and breaking down with signs of heavy liver mortis in the legs and feet. This suggests that D4375 was held upright after death, allowing the blood to pool in his lower extremities. This leads on to the marks around the D4375's neck. Broken capillaries and bruised tissue coupled with a fatal C2 fracture confirm that D4375 died by hanging. Multiple lacerations have been sustained to the arms, legs and face. I can confirm that these were sustained before death. Variation in depth alongside consistent groupings of four suggest it was a clawed subject that inflicted these wounds on D4375. Description SCP-2881 is a member of the tree species Ponderosa Pine, located in New Guinea, National Park, Indiana. SCP-2881 measures roughly 13.9 meters at its highest point. Several planks of an unknown wood are nailed into the trunk of SCP-2881 at 5.3 meters above ground level. Given the anomalous properties of SCP-2881, it is unknown if or how they were installed. Holes are located at several points up the trunk of SCP-2881, between 12 cm and 3 m from previous installations of climbing spurs. Typical of trees of its kind, SCP-2881 has no branches lower than 7 m above ground level. SCP-2881's anomalous properties manifest any time a human being attempts to climb it by the installation or use of climbing spikes, spurs, studs or grips. Any individual to attempt to make vertical progress up the surface of SCP-2881 will report experiencing themselves doing so, however on re-examination of their location will retain their starting positions. This same effect is applied to any individual watching another climb SCP-2881 either in person or on live video feed. Recorded testing played after the conclusion of a test shows subjects make no effort to climb. However, all dialogue and actions unrelated to climbing remain consistent with live observation. Individuals placed onto SCP-2881 at a height above 3 meters by external means report feeling uncomfortable and strangely heavy. No changes in weight or gravity have ever been observed while in contact with SCP-2881. Test subjects report a greater effect at higher points in SCP-2881. Testing has not been conducted using mechanical assistance. Special Containment Procedures SCP-2881 is to remain at its current location. A chain-link fence has been installed surrounding the area of SCP-2881, which is to be guarded by one security officer during all park operating hours. No unauthorized individuals are to be permitted within the area designated to SCP-2881. Incident 2881-1 Foundation personnel attempted to install a pulley to a branch of SCP-2881 on the date of the 1989 for the purposes of testing assisted elevation. D4375 used an elevated work platform to reach a branch and install the mechanism. Upon making contact with a branch of SCP-2881, approximately 8.2 meters above ground level, D4375 appeared to enter a trance and stopped responding to personnel. D4375 detached himself from the platform and climbed onto the branch of SCP-2881, then proceeded to scale the branches of SCP-2881 
until no longer visible to Foundation staff. All attempts made to contact D4375 failed. Roughly two hours later, D4375 fell from SCP-2881 at a speed estimated to exceed terminal velocity and was dead on impact with the ground. Autopsy reports concluded that D4375 had died several days prior by hanging from the neck. The body also had several lacerations around the face, forearms and legs. Testing of SCP-2881 is ongoing. And that concludes SCP-2881. I hope you enjoyed this video. Be sure to like and subscribe if you did. Next time will be a short SCP I came up with myself, inspired by an old drawing I found hanging around. That one will be up next week. Be sure to follow the Facebook, the Twitter and the Instagram for video updates. Check out the SCP Illustrated shop for posters and prints. All the links can be found below. And if you can't wait days and weeks for new material, then consider becoming a channel member or joining us on Patreon or Subscribestar. You get early video access, see all the sketches early, request your own sketches, get Discord access, collaborate in a video and so much more. And thank you to General's Alert, Rick Trexon, Sam B, Andy98, Andre, Horizons, Jax Merrick, Alexander, Duncan B, Number of the Yeast, Dr. Soup, Ellie, Rashad, Name Expunged and JT Walker. Big thanks to Kibara, The Commissar, Hunter Killer, Lenhox, Captain Core, Arctos and Arctoast. And huge thanks to the administrators, Kamara, Viger, Jack Howell and Mr. Elsewhere. Thank you all for watching, I will see you all soon and take care.